Hey guys, welcome back to Unbox Warehouse. I'm Mike, and today we're checking out DJI's all new OM4 smartphone stabilizer. These gimbals are really amazing. If you don't know what one is, I'm gonna show you why you need to own one of these today. Um, it doesn't, there's many brands of them. I do like the DJI, it's my favorite. It seems the most polished, um, but we're gonna go over all the features of this, and I'm gonna go out and demo them and make little movie clips for each feature and show you how to use it and show you why this is something you definitely wanna own. Um, also, there's a few minor changes from the Osmo Mobile 3. This is last year's generation. I made a video on it right there. You can check it out. It's got like 1.3 million views, so if you're looking for gimbals, you might have seen it already. So let's get in to the OM4. All right, if you found this video and you don't know what a gimbal is, basically when you hold your phone by hand, you get all these kind of movements in your hand that are unwanted in the video. Most cameras, smartphones these days, have some kind of image stabilization built in, but they're not perfect. A gimbal will take it to the next level and make your shots super smooth, whether it's walking bounces or you're running with this thing or you wanna get nice, smooth, even pans, um, you're gonna want a gimbal. And the OM4 is a great option. We're gonna go over the specifications first and then get into some filmmaking with this and show you all the cool features that they've added in the DJI OM4. The OM4 stands just under 11 inches tall, but it can fold down to about six and a half inches, and it weighs less than two pounds. It can carry a phone up to 0.64 pounds, with a max width of 3.31 inches. And just like the previous version, it has a built-in 18650 battery, with a capacity of 2,450 milliamp hours, and with a well-balanced smartphone can run up to 15 hours. And after exhausting the battery, it only takes about two and a half hours to recharge using its USB Type-C connector. If your phone can't keep up for 15 hours, you can charge it using the external charging port. On the bottom, you have a standard quarter inch threaded hole, giving you unlimited mounting options. Now for the OM4 to work, you're gonna need at least iOS 11 or Android 7, and preferably something that has Bluetooth 5.0. Okay, so on paper, the OM4 looks very impressive, but it does have a little trick up its sleeve that really sets it apart from other smartphone gimbals on the market, and that is its unique magnetic mounting system. You have two different options. One is you have this kind of classic arm here that pinches and squeezes your phone, and then you just magnetically snap that dude on there like that. Super easy, you can pull it on and off, you get a phone call, you want to hand film, um, and then you can just pop that thing right back on there really easy super quick and you don't mess up your phone and the second option is this little pop socket thing with a ring on it here so you can stand your phone up like that if you want um, you can put your finger through there to help you hold it to keep you from fatiguing just like a pop socket but it also is the magnetic connector so snaps right on two seconds you literally don't have to balance your phone which is one of the biggest pain in the butts when it comes to these mobile phone gimbals is you always got to balance it you don't have to balance this you want to have this one boom you're on there you want to have this one boom you're on there can't get easier than that. Okay, now on to the features. We are gonna need the Mimo app for this. This is DJI's app if you wanna access all the features. You can use the gimbal with just your regular phone camera and not open the app if you wanna take some videos, but you lose a lot of functionality of what makes this device special. And the first thing we're gonna do is head downtown because the sun's about to set and uh, try to get a really beautiful time-lapse, one of my favorite things to do with the OM4. So now we're gonna do a little moving time-lapse with the OM4. This is where you get a nice time-lapse, but you can move from point to point. So I came out here to gorgeous downtown Jacksonville and the sun's setting over there by this bridge and I'm gonna try to move over by uh, Shad Khan, he owns the Jaguar, Shad Khan's yacht all the way to this bridge and get a really nice moving time lapse. Pretty easy to set up, you can do up to four points and this is what it looks like. All right, it's about halfway done with the time lapse and just looking on the screen, it looks 
absolutely gorgeous. Um, I set this up at about five second intervals for 30 minutes. So that gave plenty of time for the sun to go down and I can end on this gorgeous bridge that's lit up blue over here. I can't wait to see what this looks like. Okay, so it's got about five seconds left and it is done and it goes back to center. Um, the time lapse is complete. That was 30 minute time lapse. Now, uh, let's check it out and see what it looks like. Oh man, it's so gorgeous. Thirty minutes was the right amount. Five second interval. Beautiful time lapse. All right, on to the next thing. All right, I'm not gonna lie, that turned out a little bit better than I expected because I didn't do anything except push start. I didn't try to adjust the phone, the ISO, and when you're going from a light environment to a dark environment, it is adjusting itself, but it still came out super sweet. Couldn't be happier with that. Now, tomorrow, we're gonna go out to the skate park and see if we can use some of the other features of the DJI. I'll see you there. Okay, we're out here at the uh, skate park at Jacksonville Beach. There's a lots of action around here. A perfect place to demonstrate some of the features of the new DJI OM4. So the first thing we're gonna do is check out the slow-mo capabilities of here. See if I can get some sweet jumps in slow motion. Let's give that a shot. Right, that's some sweet slow motion action with the OM4. Now I'm gonna show you the sport mode. Basically you pull the trigger and then hold it down and this thing goes super fast sport mode. So this is great when you're trying to keep up with the action like these super fast skaters out here. So earlier we showed you a time lapse. A time lapse basically takes a long video and shrinks it down, makes it go really fast. But a hyper lapse is kind of the same thing, but it's super stabilized with the OM4 where you can basically move this camera through space. So I'm gonna do a lap around this skate park in the hyper lapse and see how that looks. All right, so that's the hyperlapse. It's super cool, but now we're gonna show you the dynamic zoom. I called this the Hitchcock effect in the last video. Um, we used to have to do it manually where you would have to zoom in as you were like walking back or walking towards a subject to get that really cool effect. But now they've added a feature that makes it completely automatic and super easy. Anybody can do it. Let me show you how it works. Okay, so I got my subject here. It is the old sailor statue down here on the river walk. And uh, since, like I said in my last video, once you become a YouTuber, you're gonna lose all your friends. Uh, there's some truth to that. It's sad, but true. Uh, so I gotta use a statue to make this video. But I'm gonna show you how easy it is. Basically, I have it set to move out. I'm gonna go in close like this, and we are going to highlight our subject on the screen. Once it tracks in, push record, and then all you have to do is slowly move back, and it creates the effect for you. It is as easy as that. And then it says creating the video, and check out how cool that is. Now another cool thing you can do is tracking. I can even track this subject here and just basically circle around his face and then you can get these really cool tracking shots like this. So easy. You don't even have to try to keep the subject framed.
even from the back side it still works. Now let me tell you, tracking doesn't get much easier than that, but one of the best things is if you triple click this trigger, it switches to the front facing camera and you can basically draw a circle around your face and you can like vlog like this. Um, it's truly amazing because you don't have to worry about the framing. You can move this camera wherever you want and it's always going to track you. It is so easy so cool so this is a great way to vlog because you always get the shot now let's head back to the house real quick so i can show you the final features which is like the panning and it can clone you uh, automatically some other new features they put in there and then let's wrap this dude up okay so i was going to demo the pano and the clone shot outside but it just started raining so we're going to knock it out in here real quick uh, basically you have this little button over here and you can select a three by three pano or a 240 degree strip if you were doing like a long landscape or something. And uh, then you have the clone feature over here. But first I'll show you just what a pano does. It automatically takes the shots, goes through and then stitches them together seamlessly. <clears throat> so once it gets through doing its three by three shot, it boom, it puts it together in one picture and you get this. Now, the next cool thing is I'm gonna show you is the clone shot. This one is really fun. I'm gonna switch the camera to the front facing and you basically jump into frame. And it counts down for you. And then it clones you. It's really cool, super easy feature, and you can get some great Instagram content, uh, piece things together that maybe you couldn't do uh, if you're not good at Photoshop or something. This will do it for you. Um, it also has the spin shot feature that we talked about in the previous video where the camera will rotate like an inception mode. I didn't demo that, but this video has gone on long enough. So here's some final thoughts. So once again, DJI is leading the pack with the OM4. Although the improvements aren't huge from the Osmo Mobile 3, they did add some very innovative features. Now if you do own an Osmo Mobile 3, I'd probably wait to upgrade. But if you don't already have a gimbal and you're looking for a great feature packed option, then I definitely recommend the DJI OM4. All right guys, that is the DJI OM4. Um, I'm gonna put a link below if you're interested in getting one. I definitely recommend owning a gimbal if you're filming anything, family videos, making YouTube content, whatever. So thanks a lot for watching. Please consider subscribing. Check out one of these videos right here and we'll see you next time right here on Unbox Warehouse.